now that 2024 is here, I felt like it would be a good time to show off the places, the, the sites that I really wanna see this year. So coming in at the top of the list is actually Lake Louise in Canada. I think Canada is such a beautiful country, probably one of my favorite all time. And Lake Louise is just that place that like you see it in photos, you know, whether it's people ice skating or on a canoe, it is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen. One of the most serene places on the planet. Like if you're looking for a place to go that you will be one with nature, you'll be in sync with nature. Lake Louise is probably in the top five just all across the entire world. What got me hooked on this area was probably the new EA Sports PGA Tour video game where there is like an entire, I mean, there's an entire course. They don't have Toronto in the actual game. I don't know if anybody is a golf fan or follows golf, but Toronto is like the main course that they go to every, every single year for the Canadian Open. They don't have Toronto in the game, but they do have Banff, which is, you know, this area, this is really this, this national park and, and it's everything really that you could even even imagine and um, it's a beautiful place like just playing the game seeing the graphics seeing everything you get to really almost it's it's almost an immersive experience for you uh, and and so that really got me hooked and then I saw a couple, a couple of videos from both Johnny Harris and Allison Anderson both making videos about this place Johnny Harris does one where he compares uh, the area to Switzerland it's just a place that I've been meaning to go to for about a year now and I really just want to make that happen the second place that I'd love to go to is also in Canada. It is Montreal, Quebec. Ideally, I would love to go to Circuit Gillies, Villeneuve. Don't know if I said that correct. I'm practicing French. I really don't think that's right. But I was unable to secure F1 tickets for the 2024 race. Uh, like I said, been uh, been practicing French. Um, I'm not very great. We are making progress. I'm pretty sure that my lit level right now is preschool. But, but I, <laughs> you know, merci beaucoup. I have no accent at all. Montreal does look beautiful and I feel like Montreal is really underrated. I've heard a lot about Toronto when it comes to Canadian destinations. I've heard a lot about Vancouver. In Montreal just there's something about it, you know, that 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 makes it seem like it would be one of the best places to go to in Canada. <music> Terrace or Terre? Don't uh, like I, I'm not Italian either. It translates to five lands in Italian. It is home to a coastal area that comprises of five different villages. It's really cool, really awesome. I think one of the things that intrigues me the most is probably the fact that cars are mostly banned from this area. Getting around is, is mainly by either walking or you have to take the train, which sounds great, right? And like I said, I'm from Michigan. I'm about a three hour ride from Mackinac Island, which is completely car free. I love car free towns, love car free cities. I just love getting around by train. It's something that is not, we don't have much of in Michigan. So when I'm out and I actually get a chance to do that, that's something that's very exciting to me. I just discovered this place, I have to find the resort. It is called Kaxlau Tannen Arctic Resort. It's in Finland, so it's and it's above the Arctic Circle. They have glass igloos that look up at the northern lights, and it looks insane. I can't even begin to 
talk about how awesome that would be. It's it's truly it truly looks like a once in a lifetime experience, something that you probably won't do twice. One of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in an image, in a photo, anything is Yosemite National Park in California. The entire area, first of all, just looks like a movie. There are rivers, streams, cliffs and mountains, lakes, glaciers even, uh, pretty much every single piece of nature that you could even describe is in this area. about how much I'm from the Midwest. Chicago is on this list too, because I've never actually experienced Chicago for what it is. I've gone to Chicago probably days at a time. So like, I'm thinking like one or two trip day trip, maybe, you know, if that a weekend. I've never really done Chicago without just going there for an event or flying out of Chicago's airport. I would love to go as a tourist and experience Chicago for what it really is. We're trying to plan something to go actually visit, go to a pizza restaurant, go see the bean, even though I know the beans under construction. I would love to go to Australia just in general, but one of the cities experiencing them and going to Australia would be mind blowing. I know there's beaches, I know there's a bunch of a bunch of stuff to do in Sydney, but one thing I just know about me, Australia seems fascinating. The culture, the the world, everything. It seems um, and put it up there with New Zealand. And not far away from Australia is South Korea. I have a friend that goes to Seoul all the time, and I don't know how she does it, but Seoul sounds great. It, it's like a hub of just technology and just all of these things, very, very high paced, a, a cultural center. Why would I not go? And finally, the last place that I would say is probably New York City. No, I've never been. That's like one of the first places that a lot of people go. I've been to Philadelphia. I've been to pretty much anywhere south Philadelphia and South, like Pittsburgh and South. I've just never made it to that Northeast region that people always talk about. And so going to the Statue of Liberty, a Mets game, going to a museum, Times Square, those are the things that I really wanna do. I wanna make it happen in New York. So those are all the places that I would like to go to in 2024. What do you got? What are some really sick or underrated places that you, I mean, there's a ton of places that I left off the list. There's only like 10 on here. So what, what do you, where do you wanna go and uh, how do you plan on making it happen for 2024? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.